So, what happened? Okay. Well, alright. Um, I was here at the office. I was working late. Um, and I left to close the gate. And I turn around and I see this man. He's in basketball shorts and a basketball jersey. While I'm bringing the gate down, I notice he is walking at a, a pretty fast pace away. And I turn around and I look at the gate in front of the office. And there's a McChicken stuck through the center of the pole. I just don't understand what would make somebody do that. What kind of fucking world do we live in where people think that that is okay to do? Who do you think did it? I mean, judge it just based on the name on the jersey, it was, I think it was Jason Kidd. I don't know who did it. I mean, this could go all the way to the top. This could go all the way to McDonald's. So what did you do with the McChicken? I ate it. Scared. Weirdness alert. Why, Weirdness why alert. Do you have it's because I'm a, scared right now. You have such a protective kind of like uh, uh, defensive energy today. I'm on edge. You were, I mean, not to mention you have You're a, on the edge of madness. You're I'm on the on edge, edge of you're on the we edge had, of barely being friends with me. We have anymore. been fucking targeted. I don't know if you know. Clearly we've been targeted. That's, closest, that's like an arrow hitting a target and bouncing up and down. Yeah. We've been targeted. Oh wait. Yeah. By yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> one of the most probably dangerous serial killers in the world. Probably, fatality. I mean, okay. So and a he lot does of a people, lot of fatalities well, to I would women, say, to I men would, like me, wimps. Women like you? Men like you me. Said women, said women men like and me. men like women me. Women and men like me who are wimps. <laughs> yeah, he probably wimp. targets wimps and women. I think you're more um, of a chump. I'm yeah, not a chump. you're not a wimp. You you're are a definitely chump. a chump. I'm not a chump. Chump. Why do you That's think the you, number one chump thing. Is like, <laughs> I'm not a chump. I'm not a chump. I'm not a chump. I'm not a chump. You think that you... I'm not a chump. You have been targeted says, by the McChickener. And it's gonna it's ruining my life. I didn't sleep last night. That's all you've been thinking about. It's all I've been thinking I about. I mean, it's definitely tough. I do think that this is clearly... I don't think this is a current serial killer. I think it is a future serial Re oh, killer. Oh, retired. No, no, future. <laughs> no. No, no, a future serial killer. Right, yeah. Who is... He'll retire in the future, though, probably. One day... I don't think they really retire. Some of them do. The Zodiac did. Oh, that's he true. Retired, well, yeah. maybe he died. He, I think that's... I guess, though, that is the thing about him is that that's the reason he's so... Mm -hmm. Is because they didn't he's get the first him. One. He stopped and they didn't yeah. get him. He's yeah. like... That. He's Michael Jordan. He, like, yeah. just... He goaded. But, but his calling card back. is not as scary as a, as a chicken, chicken stuck through a spike. impaled through a spike. Uh-huh. Yeah, was it listeners. impaled or was it just in between? It two was spots? impaled. We were targeted okay. by. You want to just tell the story? Yes. So, Friday night. I mean, what's in the intro? Yeah, but there's people. Oh, yeah, there's the listeners who don't audio. listen to, don't watch the show. So, Friday, I was here. I was working late. I. Tell people what that means. That means that. No, I was editing a video. What video? That flopped. <laughs> oh, okay. Editing a video that flopped. And no one cares about promo for sketch shows anymore. No one cares about... They used to, though. They used to care yeah. so Nobody much. Cares it used about, to be huge. About, about a funny video game funny looking visuals, visual. Kind of Eric Andre show. Crazy, insane 2017 style. 2017 style videos. Mm -hmm. People don't like them anymore. People, People prefer don't care. 2016 style square posters. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And even then, I put it at the end of the video. <laughs> I put it if in there's there anything so people like, if there's anything want. people like less than a 2017 style video or a 2016 style poster, it's a 2016 style poster at the end of a 2017 style well, video. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's why I was targeted by this <laughs> disgusting, vicious man. This disgusting villain. This so, disgusting so this villain. person saw the so saw, saw I, the they saw. Okay, so let's they assume probably, they saw they the Instagram probably, post. They probably like smelled my pheromones. No. On me, they, they probably th you, think about this. Think about this. I leave here 
I'm all day. I'm editing this video. Yeah. I leave here. I'm closing up shop. This guy <laughs> walking down the street like that. He was doing that. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. He's oh, a fucking he was crazy you. psycho. He's okay. <laughs> Sniffing the air like that and then doing Flapping that with his, his lips, tongue his so gums. he can get the taste too. Right. Oh, and God. then he sees me, sees me standing there. He knows this guy just made a flopping video. For a sketch show at Littlefield Little Little on July 14th. But that was 14th. even before it flopped. So and the landlord is outside. This isn't good. Um, flopping video. And then he saw, he, he was like, okay, I'm going to come back here later. But how am I going to remember how to come back here so I can completely decimate this fool? Oh, right. And what will remind me of this like that fucking, Bible story, this fucking flopper. And so what did he do? He impaled his McChicken that he was eating through the spike in our gate. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh huh. Put it right through there. That Put is it right the most through. Awful news. And then I immediately, I turned around because he thought I wouldn't notice. But I, I watched that area like a hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He thought I wouldn't notice. I see the McChicken impaled through. And you go, hey, I, get I immediately, over here. You pull out your, your no, guns. No, no, I ran away. Oh. I ran all the way home. I went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Uh huh. Texted you guys a photo of it immediately. Yeah. And we have been on guard since Friday. You've been you haven't left the office. No. You've been sitting here no. you're armed, aren't you? Why do you think Waiting. I've been I've been I've been doing two You're like the opposite of I'm a so sitting scared. duck. Yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm you're a, a sitting duck. I'm hunter. a sitting cannon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just waiting a sentry. Uh-huh. You are at the There's opposite of a sentry right now. There's a cannonball that has been sitting in me for centuries and <laughs> I don't this guy <laughs> is gonna accidentally light the fuse. You're a balloons TD. Uh -huh. yeah. You're you're upgraded. I'm monkey. doing you tower defense. Yeah, you're the monkey in the middle. Uh huh. You started out. They bought you for one dollar on balloons, wimpy chump. Yeah. yeah. They upgraded you. Now I'm in. Now they he's gonna be. Button. He's Cannon. gonna be my Big interactive Cannon. buddy. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the Napoleon Dynamite skin on him, and I'm gonna bounce him off the wall. Tell you what, I always used was the George Bush skin. Yep. Because I George Bush to or Saddam. Because I let's play both sides here. Yeah, my dad got mad at me for using the George Bush one. Yeah, yeah, because he loved Bush so much. Wow. Bush was cool, man. I mean, he did. He golfed. Yeah, everybody golfs. Yeah, that's true. Every single Pretty person every, golfs. I, yeah, I wonder when was the last president? Last time we had a president who didn't know how to golf, man. Probably before golf was invented. Probably, Probably Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Jimmy Carter was a fucking pussy hippie bitch. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. a pussy wah, wah, wah. <laughs> My peanuts. My peanuts. My peanuts. They made me steal. They made me get away my peanuts. Fuck him. Jimmy Carter, bitch ass mm -hmm. motherfucker. Why Jimmy you? Carter, if that was you who put that McChicken on the gate, we going to shoot the shit out we of gonna you. We going to you're going to I don't think we can say was that. Is he the one who built all the houses and they take pictures of him and he looks like a he's Yeah, been he looks up? like a Buddy, I know the, you ain't building they, those houses. He looks like they're using him as the hammer on the house. They yeah. look like they're picking him up, swinging him around, demolishing walls with him like Hurting he's a sledgehammer. Yeah. Using him exactly like a tool. Picking him up by the legs and He looks like shit. He's been a tool since day 1 if you ask me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so the McChicken thing kind of got Patrick pretty shaken. He's sitting yeah. here with the bulletproof on, looking like Troy Ave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looks good. It is a good look for you. I have bulletproof yeah. it woven into my skin, so I don't need a... I have yeah. bulletproof woven into your yeah. skin? The fibers. I've Teflon. Definitely, yeah. yeah, I've definitely had enough Teflon from That's what, yeah, you just eat, If pans. you just scrape a nonstick pan yeah. enough and eat out of it. But that's yeah. only covering this part of me. Eggs that you, know, you scramble in the pan for about... Yeah. 15 seconds yeah with on, a, on the highest heat the highest possible heat <laughs> for 15 with, seconds uh, and you uh, take a you take my a, double a, fork technique you take an archaeologist chisel <laughs> and you go <laughs> <laughs> to get them off the pan well you break it in the you break my double fork you have technique a hammer and a, I, you do mm. like a sculptor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you have the you have the heat on like the highest setting with the teflon pan because you think you gotta you gotta season it like a carbon steel wok i think it's the black stuff is pepper yeah, yeah. When, yeah. It come, when it comes yeah. off I think that it's pepper that they put in the pan so you don't have to pepper your eggs. Yeah. My I'm dad used to have this. I do hate fucking peppering my eggs. I yeah. wish it was just already oh, in the pan. I wish it was already oh, in the pan. Oh, God, just put it in shaking the pan. Them, just shaking them. That's a... Wait. Oh, another amazing he got invention. got so scared for a second. I'm sorry. Yeah. Another when amazing invention. When he thought that invention. I didn't like peppering my eggs. Me? 
Yeah, you, or, want, you don't pepper your eggs? Well, I was I was confused. <laughs> Guys, I have another amazing invention to add. Okay. I have one uh, <laughs> after it. you. It's more of a philo- it's a scientific concept. But I guess I could come up with one by the time you All two right. do uh, one. <laughs> yeah. I guess okay. we can do three. Here's you can my just invention. piggyback off of mine. Pots and pans that have all of the seasoning and ingredients yes. already in the pot. Yes. Slice the pan. Yes. All you have to do is add the meat or the oh rice or the God. veg. And the heat. And the heat as well. But yeah, the, yeah so say you're making... Oh, and they're disposable? Like you can no, buy them no, at the no, you can no, buy no. them at the store like like the uh, the Tony Sacheries the injectables. engineers will figure out this. Yeah, but I don't give a shit about any of this. For, that's for the nerds. Okay, it'll it's gonna refill. Or you're gonna buy things that go in the pan like yeah. different like fill like color packs. covers. Yeah, yeah. 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 covers that are flavor packs. Yeah, cartridges. Like, ex- cart. Okay. Oh my god, it's like a soda it takes stream. A cartridge. <laughs> it's a soda stream for your food, <laughs> and it's called a food pan. <laughs> And you can put a you can make stream. It's called a food pan. <laughs> food pan is good. Food pan is put, really good. You take a you take a say you want to make a uh, chicken alfredo. Uh huh. Right. Well, let me look at my fridge. I have chicken, but I don't have alfredo. Right. And actually, I don't even know what alfredo is. Let me throw in my invention before Pat's really quick because <clears> I okay. just came up with it based off of yours. And it's called and it's basically you buy a straw. But on one end, it is closed on the straw, and inside the straw is a small amount of a drink. And you buy them, ba- you can buy, okay, this is a soda straw, this is a water straw, a, this like is a, a milk shooter? straw. And it can, no, it's called a, a drink a straw. Drink and a it's straw. part of, it's like kind of the spin off of the food a pan. Uh-huh. And you, it costs very little money. So if you don't, if you want to sip, much liquid. if you want to yeah. sip, and it comes with, or you can buy a big straw that's the size of a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> or it has like different flavors. The straw has different flavors. Well, yeah. You can put it into like a like, like a sparkling spark- water. Yeah. So you can mix and match the straw flavor with the liquid base. Uh-huh. And you only so get you one flavor. You only, it's like I want of, just one sip of sprite. But these right are now. disposable. These are yeah. like you have to buy like. But razor you said these are very bad for the environment. One of the thi- how are you going to turn water into milk? Very, well, that's one of the simple. base liquids. So for example, it's like oh. I can have nice straw can be filled with water, mm. milk. Uh, wine, chicken broth, chicken mm-hmm. broth, or if you don't Marcella. really, if you don't like drinks, then maybe a, a powder like salt. Or someone or pepper. doesn't like drinks. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> then, the straws are like strawberry. Oh, maybe you could do something where where it has a savory. It has some kind of vegetables. flour, like just flour in the straw. So when you suck, it turns into or a, dough a drinkable in flour. Oh my god, a little pretzel, or a flour where you uh-huh. put it into the drink and it sucks up through the stem your drink and it puts it into the air. Yeah. The here's, <laughs> here's, this is the this is like a <laughs> seven-year-old girl's invention. You can breathe in the drink in uh, your room. It's like a humidifier. You can put. This any is literally liquid like in. a little girl's invention. You could with pr- I guess you could put any liquid into an ultrasonic humidifier. Yeah. Because they just throw it into the air. Yeah. Is so that like, the bad one or the good one? That's the one that's dangerous if you use tap water because it throws sediment into the air because it doesn't boil the water. Cool uh-huh. mist is yeah. dangerous. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not only dangerous if you don't clean it mm. and aren't careful with the water you use. Yeah, I've never cleaned or, you, or barely. You would never clean a humidifier. No, what kind of no. psycho? I'm no. not a fish. It's made out of water. Yeah. It yeah. is. It's mm. a humidifier that's made out of water. That's another good one. That but is here's, a good one. This is the invention yeah. Sorry. I was thinking of. And it's not really an invention. It's more of like biomedical engineering. Okay. Um, and it's it's done yeah. to it's not done to humans. So okay. Why don't be, you say what yeah, it is? Yeah. So so don't get all scared or anything. Well, what is it done what for? What we do: to? flavored chickens and eggs. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm liking it. So can you I, get a... It's 101, mm-hmm. y'all. Oh, I thought you were giving me a... You can have a fist bump, but I was going to stamp approved on the table. Oh, okay. So what we do, <laughs> we get, like, multiple types of chickens. Like, they're already doing it to make chicken breasts bigger, right? Why don't we put as the well flavor... As well as the black chicken and the black egg. Yeah. Yeah, true. The silky. No, I the black chicken called, and the black egg. It's but, called black chicken with completely black egg, and I've seen it on a lot of oh, websites yes. and Facebook I know, posts. I know what this is now, yeah. Black so meat So we're the putting... Well. We're going we're wow. gonna, to... From birth, from the egg, plus the eggs, they're going to have like tons of flavor in them because yeah. it's going to be flavor concentrate in the egg. You can cook these. You're going to be putting barbecue, sour cream, and onion. And think about this. Bar- and think about and, and think, and barbecue, think about barbecued chicken, though. You but don't think, need to. But then think it's about gonna this, It's going to grow right? up into a barbecued chicken. Because then you got the right. flavored eggs. You can flavor separately the yolk and the white. Uh-huh. Create some ratatouille-style combinations. Yes. Strawberry but, and cheese. Yes. Like but, in the but, movie. but, 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 but. What if you were making a an egg with cheese already in it, so you can make a crazy omelet? Was no. that what you were gonna say? Why? You know, that's that's <clears throat> your problem. What? 
You say is that you say something and say, is that what you're going to say? Yeah. I've just diagnosed you. Well, here's what I was going to say. And you were never going to guess this. Okay. I was going to say, what if you bake a cake and you accidentally put a, some kind of hamburger egg into, into your, Oh, well, egg that's mix. really on that, you, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that one the that's on you. you, if you but put what on, if I do, if I do that, that's like, on you one. And then two, the eggs are going to have, um, like a screen printed. Can you have logo. some kind of neutralizer egg where you put that in? And it that's goes a good back idea. That's a, that should just be exist for flavors in general. Yeah. If you make I a mistake, I agree. I have been saying this for too long. If I add too much salt to something to the point where it's completely Desalt. inedible, you just put adding pepper, pepper should that's, remove it, salt. It, should, it doesn't, it should cancel it doesn't out. but it's it should. Goal. That's what and, my roommate told me in community college. And he, in, co- in college. And, and he, he told me that's exactly what you do. And I was like, that is not what you do. <laughs> no, I made it. And a, then I tried it, and it didn't work. It does not work. It just makes it taste worse. Yeah. I made a chili that was just far too salty. And uh, here but I you am. You can add water. You can add water to chili. But a flavor remover. Yeah, I'm saying flavor a salt remover. remover. Anti ingredients. Anti ingredients. Anti ingredients. Anti ingredients. Every ingredient has an anti ingredient. Mm-hmm. If you are one of these freaks or who no, don't like outgredient. Outgredient. Oh ingredient is because you put it there in the food. And here's what it is. It's a it's a uh, square, kind of a scratch and sniff square with a uh-huh. bunch of different little pellets like pills that yeah. you pop out for each thing. Cilantro, lime, salt, all these things. It's and like you carry little, it with you. Yeah. And so if something if if something comes to the table at a restaurant with with some shit that you don't like in it, mm-hmm. sprinkle that on. It's neutralized. Well, here's what I was thinking: is that maybe more realistically, <clears throat> that was it realistic. would have to be since they're un- they're out ingredients. They have to be the opposite of the ingredients. So you have to go to you'd have to maybe they'd all look like the same ones, but opposite. And you'd have to go to kind of the ungrocery store and go shopping and be like, okay, I'm going to get all this stuff. And then you'd have to you'd have a whole separate pantry, a cantry. Full Whoa. of out ingredients, uh, and it's like wow. okay, well, if I'm gonna buy this ingredient, I better <clears throat> buy the out ingredient of it, yeah. and then so it's like you can like they're all the, uh, yeah, I think so. That you maybe need a whole nother house I, to keep yeah. to have with an <laughs> empty no, 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 kitchen. You just came up with, with a day. Chin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm thinking of a actual product that people yeah. can use, people need. I'm just trying to fit it into actual physics. Uh huh. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> a no physics this, framework. A, a, a scientifically designed. Pellet. Oh, I didn't realize it yes. was scientifically. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Food yeah, science right. designs the pellets so that they t- are a, basically they're a, fl- a salt kind of thing. And yeah. They are a salt. They're well, a that salt. Is, it's mostly salt. It's or a is maybe that is negative of a whatever it is. If somebody if doesn't like cilantro, did, they do that. If you did like the the chemical breakdown of it, it's basically. Let's do the chemical five hundred percent of your daily sodium do the intake. Chemical breakdown. 500% yeah. of your daily sodium intake and then whatever the other flavor is. Chemical breakdown, I'm going to say it's going to be a lot of chlorine. Hydrogen. Uh-huh. Hydrogen. 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 Hydrogen, which is a different... Hydrogen, I was what I meant to say. No, but you, did actually, you actually got the right thing when yeah. you said it the first time because, again, this is scientifically Nitrogen. designed. Nitrogen. Hydragon. Mm. No. That's a Pokemon, I think. We're going to put him in there. <laughs> what about... It doesn't matter what's in Boron, it. The point is potato. that it, the point is that it works better mashed than potato. any invention. There could be unmashed ever made. potato, dehydrated mashed I potato flakes, and boron. I'm often making something. I accidentally add too much mashed potato flavor, uh-huh. or you t- mash something that you didn't yeah. mean to mash. An unmasher. An un- Everything oh, should be unable. Oh my god! Why you're can't so we right. in this world undo our mistakes? Uh-huh. Why do we have to bear our sins to the grave? We our need food mistakes, mostly. Cancel culture. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get into yeah. it. We need to all have click remotes. <laughs> we do. Every last person on earth. Needs no, a that, click I think remote. one person should be in charge of the click remote, and then that should be kind of. But like that's our hard to decide. Everybody's going to think that they're the one who should be the Sandler. Yeah, I not know. Me. That's why the audition process I is so myself. hard. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'll hey, step back. I'll let somebody I'll else handle it. it. I'll do it. I will not do it. Maybe I'll each group of remote. people, each maybe friend trio or oh, something like that. I, I did have. not think he meant. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant each race needs yeah. a Sandler. Why would you jump to that? One Sandler on well, each of the seven like this. continents. This is the group of sign language for race. What are you guys on today? Oh my lord! I'm on bold each group of people, tea. like each white yeah. group of friends, <laughs> um, has one person who has the remote for that group. Yeah, and then we don't, and then maybe there can be a king who it can controls only everybody. control the group. Yeah, but it can only control yeah. the group. That's good. That's good. And it could be families or just friends. Yeah. 
I guess it is a paternal remote because the dad has it in the movie. I never saw that movie. You never seen? Click? I saw Click in the is theater. Is it supposed to be more funny or more emotional? More emotional. Well, That's so more, crazy to very, me. Because right. I always it's thought it was well supposed to be London. simply an Osmosis Jones style <laughs> romp. No, well, Osmosis Jones is very scary. Yeah. Yeah, but the part scary is not really an emotion. What does the dad Fear? get in that movie? What? What does he get? A remote. What is Drick supposed or er, strip finger? Strip finger <laughs> yeah. is his name. <laughs> Crazy That's finger. So I thought it was Mr. strip finger, finger, and I told my girl when I was watching that because I wanted to see it. I said, "What the villain's name is Strip Finger." <laughs> <laughs> you said the villain's name was Strip Finger. I thought I hundred percent thought his name was Strip Finger. Did you ever? Did she at any point during the movie say? His I kept name saying is over and over, "It's gonna be." His, why are they gonna say Strip Finger? <laughs> <laughs> strep finger. I think that Drix. The idea that it's also just I'm, strep. I'm 100 sure I've said that before. On Drix, the show, but I just remember. I think Drix says I something about strep. Said yeah. it again. Strep finger. I think he it's says something about strep in it. I think. My brain. I don't think that you're that far off. I think you're just well, you're he has a mixing finger. two things up. Yeah. <laughs> He definitely has a finger. He uses a finger he to make people finger. sick. He has a a uh, a um, soul caliber. F- What's big his name? Yeah. Drax is the good guy. Drax, Drix, because it was Ozzy and Drix. He's the good guy. Yeah, he's Drix the, he's is the good guy. Drix is the pill, and he's. Groot. I thought his name. Yeah. Oh, no, Drax is the guardian of the galaxy. Yeah, Drax is a guardian, and Groot's a tree. But so Drix what's is the a evil pill. guy? He can't be strep. Uh, any strep his name, he's I'm not gonna, strep because uh, that would. Julio, if, can you Google it for if us? If he was, if Bill Murray's character was in the hospital like Search that for Moses strep Jones throat. video, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. there's no way it's strep. Well, it's not strep throat. It's strep finger. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a very good point. Finger, I will die. It's not. It's I know oh, it's a thrax. thrax. So that's what I'm Wait, thinking. Okay. Of. So can Wait. you Google strep finger as well? <clears throat> no. What is he supposed to so be? Look, look at him. He looks like strep Ebola. Finger. He does. Let me tell you something about Ebola, baby. And Ebola, he's an evil dude. Ebola is a case of dandruff compared to me. This is the from the straight from the words of Thrax. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hi. But go ahead and this and is the secret search, uh, 1070. I'm the admin of this oh, site. No, Edit I thought as this much was as you wish. Oh. Search strep finger though and see if that's a real ailment. In a cartoon, <laughs> strep finger, strep fingers peeling, strep oh! finger infection. Whoa. It is. It's a rare ca- c- cause of finger superative can you get infection. Stre- you can get strep in your finger. What <laughs> the fuck? You shouldn't pull up a picture of this on YouTube. I no, want but, to see it. But you one day, show pull. it to us, but don't show the audience. Oh! Oh, they're completely black oh fingers. God. Wow. <laughs> Don't those that's look unbelievable. Those look, those look exactly like the Haribo colas. They did. That was oh, crazy. That's and that's the what he does in Osmosis Jones? No, I will say if he had strep now I'm a little more convinced <laughs> that he was strep finger <laughs> because that looks fucking serious. Yeah, but that well, looks how does he serious. make a zit? Remember he has the zit, isn't that Thrax's fault? It's oils. Yeah, no, it's because like he eats the, the fried chicken. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he eats the fried he chicken eats and an then... egg off the monkey yeah. exhibit at the very beginning. Yeah, at the very floor, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he even gets this guy in the first. That's place. how he gets strep yeah. finger. Which why we, need to, we should do an Osmosis uh, Jones panel question. next episode. What can we do that Osmosis Jones panel? Yeah. It's a very good movie. I like that I, movie. I've seen. I I, did we movie. watch that recently? Yeah, we did. I watched it recently. A couple of years ago, I feel like we watched it uh-huh. somewhere. I watched it in a hotel. We watched it in a hotel. Was that no, with us? No, no. It was just me and my beautiful girlfriend watching Osmosis Jones. I said, just wait. Just wait, baby. Just wait for Strep, Strep Finger. Strep Finger's coming right up. Soon. And if he had showed up, I mean, that would have been disgusting. It would have ruined the romantic yeah. mood between you two. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I hate strep finger right now. You kind of look like a pill that would be in, <laughs> in Osmosis Jones. Yeah. I look like an Osmosis Jones character. You do. I can see you vest. in the steam room. Yeah. No, I just think you have big eyes like a cartoon character. Mm. Remember they had Kid Rock and Joe C in that yeah. movie? Yeah, and he says that line about, yeah. you know, uh, uh, statutory. Statutory, yeah. but I say it's mandatory. Yeah. yeah. Who said Kid Rock says that or Joe C? The little one. Joe C. Says that Joe C. I thought Joe Rock said it. Joe no. C. And Osmosis Jones has the evilest smile in the world. That's scary to everyone. Joe C. on that album cover, and he's holding a word, a, a poster, a holding sign, a a holding worm. a word that says "Fresh Eggs" over Kid Rock's penis. What does that mean? His penis is old, fresh eggs. He's got huevos. His balls are fresh eggs. Yeah, yeah. I thought it had to do with sperms. 
Probably not. A sperm is the exact He's opposite of they an hang egg. Out the, in the sperm south, is an ungreedy. In the yeah. south where Kid Rock okay. is, women in the south are so fucking stupid. He's in from Detroit. Oh, shit. That's the Midwest. Fuck. That might as well. But he likes hanging out in the south. Yeah. So they, op- they welcomed him with open arms. That's why he went to the south and he yeah. started confusing women by saying, you want eggs? And yeah. then he would try to serve them his hot balls on a plate. <laughs> He'd have them it's piping hot. Nuts. It would look like two haggis under on a plate. He'd cut a hole under a piece I don't of even paper. Know what's, what a haggis haggis what's, yeah, like? what's a haggis? You Harry Potter motherfucker. It's what intestine. Is that? It's oh. Scottish. <laughs> it's pretty good. Shut up. I've had it before. It's good. You are such a sucker. I was fine with you until you said it's pretty good. No, in you, that tone. You are the ultimate food sucker. No, I'm not. You are the food sucker. That's a from now on. You are the food that's sucker. A, that's a food any from kind of I weird, think that I any Scottish weird food. Blood in no, me. No, no, you shut up. We went over it. Any kind of weird food. Maybe you did. Yeah, there's a little bit at the top. And put a little like blood in your top. 0.01% or something? Well, no, because I had like tested populations and like there's like Newcastle upon Tyne, which is like right next to Scotland. If you, oh, it's next to it. If there is a weird food there's from another country, guy that went there. this guy is going to say, no matter what, he likes it. No. No matter what, he will say. He I don't mind it. if someone says they like food, but if they say <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah. That's you like you. You are an Andrew Zimmer. Yeah, bizarre I'll, eat, foods. I'll eat bizarre foods. I don't care. You Zimmer are a bizarre foods. food. You want to start eating. You want to hang out with Timon and Pumbaa. You want green you eggs and hang, ham. He would hang Those out with. You want, you want <laughs> green eggs and ham. You would hang out. You want green eggs and ham. You would hang out with Timon and Pumbaa. I would eat green eggs and ham. You would eat so the quick. big. You would eat the big grill. Yeah, yeah. All, we ate that all the time good. in the cafeteria. Did y'all yeah. not have that? No. My mom made green eggs and ham one time. You never had that. We had that every year. You're lucky. On what day? I don't even. I have no clue. I don't know. On St. Patrick's Day, my mom made green milk Oh, maybe it was St. Patrick's Day. Green milk. She didn't make green milk. Yeah, she, she made it. it. She, she made it. it. Actually, just mixed it. She put deal. red. She put she green food coloring it, in the milk. Actually. Yeah. yeah, but I do think that the the reverence that you have for odd foods is really disgusting, and you need to get a grip and you, also just figure out most shit. You don't like any food, man. I'm like That's cheese and bread, sign me up. Actually, no. He's the one who doesn't. like He doesn't food. like any food. I like all food. I like but the I don't, middle. I won't like making food. I like the middle amount of food. Yeah, I probably like the most food. The only food I don't like is stuff that's gross yeah, or like outside what? of my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> if, cheese yeah, is too, too. if cheese is too spicy, if bread is too crispy. Stop making spicy <laughs> cheese, like guys. <laughs> it's like I like spicy cheese. Stop making it's actually If the mayonnaise good. is too cold out the fridge. That is, oh, and it hurts yeah. your teeth. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's so cold, it hurts oh your teeth. Oh my god! If the water, Ice if the water glass mayonnaise. too full and it dribbles down your chin. Oh, no, no, no! I um, doesn't matter. Oh, they are investigating attacked? the McChickening. There's, there's it's two. It's the detectives. landlord with two detectives. There's two grizzled detectives outside uh-huh. investigating a McChicken. They are, de- they are detecting it. Yeah, and they're not seeing much. That is incredible. Thank yeah. God. Thank God for our. Oh, we have a DNA landlord. sample that we can use. Apparently. Oh, yeah, Pat I found they the McChicken a, uh, wrapper outside. Left a McChicken wrapper outside. Mm-hmm. And you hear those sirens? It's happening, y'all. They're coming. They're arresting Patrick. They're yeah. not arresting me. For faking the entire McChicken yeah. thing uh-uh. from the start. Uh, it was a fire truck. So from the jump, you were faking it. Admit that it. could be. No. It was a fire truck, yeah, because you're getting fired. I'm not yeah. getting fired. And you have to drive a truck. Yeah, and you drive. I don't know truck how to drive. Yeah, you don't know how to drive. Yeah. Have you? We, you, we went go-karting with you, though, and you, you fared all right. Yeah, it was fine. It's a go kart though. It's basically the same exact thing. No. It's not. It's the psychological the thing that matters. Yeah, I like can't. I can't drive a car. I can't Pierce drive a car winning. because of my name, which I found out recently. Every single person, if you look up Patrick Doran, there is some incredible car-related injury or crime that has happened. There's a an Irish traveler who was going around. Uh, the UK doing a bunch of shit with cars. Then there is that guy in Richmond, Virginia, who re- st- rented a dump truck under the name Jacob Fury. Right, I remember that. Yeah, and then that he is killed cool. a baby. And look at that. <laughs> That's him. That guy I don't know who that baby is. Killer. I don't know who that is, but <clears throat> yeah, baby killer Patrick Doran. And if you look up that Patrick Doran, he was wanted by U.S. Marshals. If you look him up, if you look up Fat Patrick Doran on YouTube, he's there. 
Oh, this looks like there's some kind of mm. one lunch and, underscore and enjoyer. And who's this? Uh, some pedophile guy? That's not a pedophile. This is the wait. This is the guy who killed a baby. This is not a guy who killed this a baby. This is Doran. I mean, it's the same name. That? It is the same name. It not looks the like same. a type of guy who would kill a baby. I think that guy looks handsome. He looks like a shit pet bird. <laughs> Shithead. Looks like a shit bird. Are they coming in here? Chill out. No. Yeah, you need to relax. You mean are they coming? There's no, what do you mean? There's a door right there they could walk into. Why would they? There's walk nobody in there? at the door. <laughs> she walked in like Kramer that one time. <laughs> yeah, that was the day that we moved in. Yeah, I know, but what if she walks in and does it again? When she opens oh, the door. Oh no, that what would if she ruin opens every, the door. That would ruin, we'd have to move. That would ruin the everything. <laughs> no, it would ruin the episode. <laughs> it would You're ruining the You're episode, ruining right, episode now. right now. I'm not ruining the episode. <laughs> da, 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 and I'm bringing it back. Da, da, da. Let's get that energy up. I want to see you bounce it. What's wrong with you? This McChicken thing has you in it's, all out of sort. Yeah, I'm really not doing well. It must be the feng shui in here. It yeah. definitely is the feng shui. It must be the feng shui. It must in be this the room. feng shui. It has to be. I'm so fucked, man. We should move the fucking table around. Let's start the episode. <laughs> We need to move the table around. You think so? Yeah. Uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> well, so I don't think you should move the table we, around. We can, turn, we have it, we can turn it at a crescent moon shape. It is a crescent moon shape. It's not a crescent moon A little moon bit shape. more. It's a half moon shape. Yeah. It's a half moon. We can make it a crescent and then change the feng shui entirely. You want to take make a, it a, crescent? a jigsaw and shave? <laughs> My friend. I've heard of that? a waning moon, but that's a bit I don't know much. the moon cycle. I don't remember it. <laughs> Basically, it starts out nothing, and then it grows to full, and then it's small. Okay. Yeah, and it but goes if you away. if you watch it, the all if you watch it twenty four hours a day, which is possible because sometimes the moon because is I'm in traveling there. around the earth yes, in a plane. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you watch it twenty four hours a day, there is no moon phases, man. Yeah, yeah. and that's when you realize the moon phases are bullshit. moon falses. Mm -hmm. They're moon falses, is what I meant yeah. to say. And they don't exist. It's all just no, it's the all, moon. Just it's keeps all a going. trick of the light. Yeah, if you saw a, uh, a guy every couple of weeks couple and of he was getting taller, would you say, "Oh, this guy has different phases that he goes in"? Well, if yeah, he got, sh if he got so. shorter again and then he repeated every month, I might say that. Yeah, no, I would definitely say that. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I would, would totally say, say the guy that. got no, no, taller no, no, every no. single day, and then one lie, day, lie, just, like lie, one lie, day, lie. gradually went down. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, he's waning today. Yeah, yeah. Not do Wayne. His, his name is Steve. Wayne. His name is not Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. Uh, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. His uh, name is not Wax. Max is waxing. Ma Max and Wayne. <laughs> That's his Max brother. Wayne. Okay, so Max today Wayne. we decided to do a little bit of a study on feng shui. Feng shui, <laughs> which, if you don't know, is Chinese for water and wind. Is or that wind and water. Yeah. Oh man! I learned that from that my makes websites. a lot of sense. It, during my research, I found plenty of wind references. Yeah, I've and always been water. We have all three of us always been so fascinated by feng shui, and honestly, since the beginning of the podcast, since 2018, we have been like waiting for a chance to really delve into mm -hmm. it and be like, can we get down to business and do the feng shui episode? Yeah. But it's tough. It's tough because people don't want you to do mm -hmm. it. People don't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it is sacred knowledge. There's feng shui masters. Yeah. I've learned. But I also learned doing this. That I have a fucked up. I, my house has like complete anti feng shui. My house yeah. is feng shui is so fucked. You're right supposed now. to have the bed not looking at your door. Yeah. Which is what? there's all sorts of things. Do you know what's horrible about my house's feng shui <laughs> right now is that we switched. Um, we switched our office and our living room, and. The new living room is great and it's really cozy and nice, but the new office is the mo worst room of all time and it's just bookcases and two desks and it's so bad that we keep the lights off all day and it's in the middle of the house and mm. it's like it doesn't exist. It's like you're yeah. walking through a portal from the kitchen bad to the living feng room. Shui. It's horrible feng shui. Bad, bad what feng shui. It's really get, bad. What if you combine the two? We're looking at getting a chair. A living loft. Let's, let's change the office. <laughs> To an arcade. Yeah. Yes. The, you, Your girlfriend would or, love uh, that. Uh, or uh, sorry, sorry. A barcade. Barcade is not a bad idea. Oh my! I God. wanted to change it. What did I want to change it to? That I well, there was trouble with. Maybe it was a room for building things. You didn't put enough mm. Godzilla stuff in a there. A man There's plenty. cave. A yeah. man cave. No, I was thinking more of like oh. a laboratory. Yeah. Nerd. A man laboratory. A man. Lab. Um. <laughs> show me my slideshow. <laughs> I would like to see this. So uh, let's see. I went to a website called, I don't remember what it was called. Dot com? No. Mm. <laughs> very, very funny. Really fucking. 
I, I went to a website. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a forum for uh, different uh-huh. feng shui things. And I found some amazing questions that we are here to answer. Um, pizza slice shaped <laughs> house <laughs> equals bad feng shui. This is in, and it's also called geomancy. I learned. Yes. Geomancy slash yes. feng shui. So someone named Tor says, hey, all, I see a place. I liked it very much. Me and hubby walked in, felt very comfortable, and somehow we just kept keep going there despite first time viewing. They reject our offer. Second time viewing, we increased COV. Someone offered higher COV. Then somehow the higher COV did not go through. So we still offered, and they accepted. Now it is transacted, and it is mine. And I read here that those pizza slice-shaped layout is bad. Any way to remedy? What is COV? Pepperonis. So... Yeah, so, okay, so what? how do you fix this? If you find yourself the proprietor of a pizza-shaped house... Wait, pizza which, pizza way? Sli- which, a, which way? Which way? Which way? Pizza shape going vertical, or the whole house is a pizza shape. I, I believe horizontal. it's a pizza-shaped floor plan. Yeah, I think it's. I think most feng shui... I don't think most feng shui deals with the shape of the house from outside. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's okay. 2D floor plan. Okay, so their house is like... Shaped like a pizza slice. One of those, like, fun house tunnels... That keeps going like this. That's it's like what a, I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. They they included a floor. This is a very old pose. It's ten years old. So okay. they included a picture, but it, okay. it was gone now. Oh, so damn. I couldn't see it. But I'd imagine it's something like a, akin to the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, where it oh. is a pizza shaped house there that looks like the pizza. front door is like on the pointy end or the crust. Pro- I would hope I would that hope the front the door is on the pointy end. The pointy end, the cr- it's going to be this thin. Yeah, yeah, but that's your that's your hallway. How are you going to get through this little door, man? It's a well, point. You, uh, hopefully, it would motivate you to lose some weight if you're a fat. To fatty. become as thin as nothing. Yeah. I don't. I think that the person who buys a pizza slice shaped house will need to lose some weight. True. Either yeah. way, <laughs> no matter. I just where love the, the idea of, of buying a house that is a giant piece of pizza. Is looking at the pizza shaped like, house. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Does this have bad feng shui? <laughs> a giant pizza house? But yeah, pepperonis, round table, round yeah. desk, round chairs. Oh, round yeah. The, the round table. The round table, plastic table. The yep. Yep. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Round everything. And Piece then for the garlic. crust, a rug that is brown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for the crust side. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yellow floors. <laughs> Yellow and red you, floors. I think you do just have to lean into the pizza theme. Anchovies in the bathroom. What is your opinion for showcasing yes. weapons in the house? Asks Ryan YTH. He says, single here. We'll be getting my two-room <laughs> flat soon and living alone. I fancy buying a Japanese katana sword. Not from authentic sword blacksmiths. Blade of, is, of course, blunt in accordance so to more of Singapore a sword-like law. Object it's than an a sword. SLO. To display my bedroom as I really like the aesthetic. I'm usually not a very superstitious person, but a weapon is still a weapon, even though it is not authentic, I guess. Would you advise someone to display weapons in the house, especially the bedroom? And if anyone knows if there is any temple that can bless the sword to act as a deterrent against malignant spiritual forces, as in, and then some thing I don't know. Uh, as I said, I'm not particularly superstitious, but I could use all the spiritual help if I can. Thanks in advance. So you got a couple of replies here. This person says, hmm, it depends on many factors. If we speak about katanas, I don't see anything wrong with doing it. But if you want to showcase some fire guns, I don't think it's such mm. a good idea. Maybe if you have a collection of old and rare hunting guns, I would understand it. But showcasing any other kind of gun, it's not okay. I have five pistols. So do I have to showcase them in my living room? Nah, I don't think it's a good idea. I even ordered a new Sig Sauer. It is my sixth gun. (laughs) I decided to buy it after reading this Sig Sauer 1911 review. I mean, this gun seems to be precisely what I want from a freaking pistol. (laughs) And then this uh, last comment here, this guy, I think, just got confused about the topic and said... Hi, all. I want to choose a scope for hunting. I am considering various <laughs> options, but I decided to stop at the Vortex. What do you say? The Vortex? That's, that's a brand. Oh, but this oh. guy. Just, I thought he was saying he's... <laughs> I thought this is some feng shui-related thing. No, no. This guy does not... Look at... He's the only... Everybody on this forum is Singapore, is from Singapore, except for this guy. And his name's Kerrigan, and uh, I think this is the only comment he ever made. Huh. Wow. Help. Anyone know where to get a red ruby? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from a chest. <laughs> yeah, from a trove. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, yeah. yeah the, How do you uh, get a red ruby? Because apparently... Du- I bet if you finish a dungeon, there's a good chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would say go to your nearest dungeon. You may Clear need to slay something. Find it on a kill everything in there. Yeah. See if there's a chest. 
<laughs> lately, my HDB block underwent HIP, and the two toilets in each of the 96 units could not be used for 10 days, meaning wee-wee, poo-poo, <laughs> slash washing have to go void deck. Some rich ones moved out and stayed elsewhere temporary. Only then, all neighbors discussed about toilets and also appreciate the importance of toilets. Is this about a boat? No, this is just about some something in their, their apartment. Something oh, about a toilet. Okay. I think I accidentally included this, but it was a funny well, comment. Yeah, I guess because... Um uh, feng shui is a lot about the different elements, I think. Uh-huh. And a toilet is a strong water element. Wee wee yeah. and poo poo and wee washing. Wee and also. It is the, it is the controller. And, and there's a lot of posts about toilets on this forum. Office desk near toilet. <laughs> so this is a bad, this is a dangerous situation. Yeah. This is not where you want to find yourself at any point in time, is with your office desk near a toilet. Hi, everyone. Any advice? Recently, I joined a company. My desk is near to the toilet. I can even hear the flushing sound. I heard that this is bad from feng shui perspective. Out of all the companies I had joined, this is the only company that I felt I, that I have lose my confidence in my job and things has not been going so smoothly. I'm not sure what it, whether I'm being superstitious or if it's true. Any advice? Thanks. The can- smell or even the thought of the smelly, smelly yucks. Already bad lao le. If one of your colleague didn't flush that day or have a bad stomach, you'll be the first-hand filter. Superstitious or not, you already lost half the battle, Liao. That's what I was going to say is I don't think you even need to bring feng shui into it to know yeah. that this is a, a, this in, is a inauspicious for setup. Yeah, yeah. which I, they all want to be either auspicious or inauspicious. When Mostly they want to be their, auspicious, I but think. They, they always are talking about if something is auspicious or inauspicious yeah. in this forum. And then this guy says, one way is to treat each flush as a nature waterfall and psychologically <laughs> win the war, <laughs> which is genius. And people just have a positive mindset here. Look, far, God wants to train you to be different and specializes in thus temporary torture you. Enjoy the torturing and become a great man in the coming. Oh. You are not far from success. That wow. is really deep. Yeah, it does that- say Leo. At the end. Which, which I, said, I think wow. is some kind of, I, th- I think it's I said, some wow. kind of Singapore word for like... Bruh. 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 Yeah, I think it's like Singaporean for bruh. Bruh. Yeah. Harry Porter's <laughs> magic. <laughs> uh, Callie Manton says, so do you guys believe in Harry Porter's magic? In today's world, is there such a thing as black magic? What do you guys think? Yes. Yes. You think there is such a thing as Harry I'm Porter's black magic? I'm looking at a black magic device. What is it? Right oh. there. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. Mm-hmm. There could be something emitting off of that right now. Some kind of frequency or field. Uh-huh. Yeah, damn. Wi-Fi. That scares me. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Wi-Fi is a type of black magic. Yeah. That is. Last night, oh my god, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to uh, go off topic. Last night, I was playing video games. My wife is at my house with her sister. Okay. They're in the living room. I'm in the bedroom playing video games. They're giggling. I think they're probably pillow fighting or mud wrestling or something until the internet cuts out. They were playing with the cable. They literally were playing with the cable. <laughs> really? I, dude, I walk out, I say, did you guys turn out the internet? She was like, no, I um, uh, I didn't turn off the internet, but I uh, I unplugged the, the like cable cable because we don't need it. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? She was like, yeah. You know, the like cable thing, the thing that goes into the TV. I just unplugged it because we don't, we don't have a TV that we don't have cable. I was like, that's where the internet comes from. She's like, no, it's not. It comes from the Wi-Fi router. And I had to explain to a grown woman how the internet works. And then she unplugged it two more times. I think she did that on purpose, dude. No, dude. I mean, they were giggling. It was killing me. Yeah. I literally, I've never been so mad. I wanted to cave their heads in. Yeah. Yeah. And they made us lose games. So. No. Wow. But just sorry. That's a little. That was. And I, I blame bad feng shui for yeah. both of that. For making them if stupid the, as rocks well, and me as If the feng shui a, had been good, the cable would ham. not have even been in a place where it could be unplugged. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Wow. Well, they un- okay, they you unplugged were it like once. You kind of like the expert. They unplugged it once. And then when they were trying to plug it back in, they unplugged it again. While trying to plug it back they in. They plugged it in and then tried. They, and then they pulled they it back in. They, they didn't know that they were trying to jump rope with it. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. But they yeah. Uh, they were trying God. to eat it. They yeah. thought that it was gonna. It was a straw. Yeah. Wow. But then they put. Then they put a piece of. The, we have like a big storage chest, and they they put it directly on top of it, <laughs> and uh, unplugged it once more. Yeah. So that was my fucking Monday night. God, wow. we've had such a feng shui experience these uh-huh. past however of much. Of All right, us. I have a couple more slides. Um. So Harry Porter's magic, of course, is feng shui related. 
uh, Geomancer's hand <laughs> chopped off. <laughs> what? So this is a story. I won't get into the story, uh, but basically this is a, a guy who said, uh, who's a geomancer, who got his hand chopped off in a vicious attack, and he admitted that he did not get any premonition that something bad would happen. Wow. Okay. The comments give him what for for they this. They tear him apart? Full loads of excuses, calling himself a feng shui expert and not a fortune teller, can't even predict for himself how to help others. See, wow. this is why I don't call myself a feng shui expert, because yeah. you never know when your hand's going to get yeah, chopped off and people say... And you look like a bitch. You, a fraud. Uh-huh. you look like a fucking bitch uh-huh. As I if you get your known. hand chopped off. Yeah, if I got my hand chopped off, man, man, <sighs> that'd change a lot of stuff in my life. Oh yeah, and then also change about half the stuff in my life. The it last would change, thing, it would change how I open doors forever. The last thing here is that there's a bunch of posts on this forum that are really it's really old, like from 2006 and stuff, that uh, I've just been completely deleted. So, but they all they have good names. But this is my favorite one. I I really wanted to read it, but it only had the title uh, and it just says "What the fish." <laughs> <laughs> the 16 year old post what called the "What the fish." What the fish? <laughs> wow. What the fish? But I honestly, I spent, I spent uh, two or three hours going through this forum, and I learned so much about feng shui. Yeah. I thought feng shui was, I honestly thought that it was Pilates. I thought it was an exercise. But I, I, I knew what it was because of Frasier. Putting the couches in an yeah. interesting way. It's pretty fun. Um, mine is kind of more about uh, how... I, I kind of put in a bunch of feng shui rules and stuff that I found from online okay. that maybe we could think about for the office or if we were designing a house for us all to live together in the future that I know we talked about maybe once before. But That is definitely in the maybe cards. Maybe it will happen. Um, and it's funny you say cards, but we'll get to that later. Um, but so these are kind of just some some rule feng shui rules and ideas for whenever we're designing a space that we can maybe build a house of cards. I'll pull up this uh this the, all these things and we can, and they're from a bunch of different websites and we can just talk about how we might implement them and okay. how it might be fun in our space. Um so first off doormats. Feng okay. shui rules for doormats. And so this is something that we this is the first thing you got to think about. Right now house. our doormat is just red. Yeah, so we're actually okay. going to look into this. Um, all right. Well, we do have a so, doormat. <clears throat> yeah. Uh Welcome, Chi, to the front entrance of your home with favorable colors, shapes, and accessories like doormats. Feng Shui rules suggest the right doormat will give a boost of positive energy every time you or a guest crosses it to enter your space, which makes sense to me. Uh, so door direction establishes mat design. So does someone have a compass app on their phone? Does anyone still have the compass done? Maybe I do. But I want to figure out what direction our door faces so we can figure out the right I believe our door of, faces uh, north, Or I guess you can northeast. use New York style thinking. I think it's facing north. Northeast. It looks northeast to me, yeah, yeah because this. it's... Do it this way. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's northeast. Yeah, 30 degrees northeast. All right. So southwest or northeast. The earth element is in the southwest and northeast. Earth's colors are sandy, clay, and soil shades, as well as red, oh, pink, whoa. yellow, and purple. None of them pastels. The best shape for the mat is square. We, so we're we all, are we're all, already that's experts. That's a kind that's of a rectangle a, more than a square. Uh, it's okay, though. It's okay, but uh-huh. it could be. But we need to cut it down to a square. And also, yeah. we need to make a doormat that is like a uh, tooth tunes where you step on it and it plays a song. Yeah. Mm. Um, Let's get it started. I want something just like this. <laughs> Every time you walk in. Mm-hmm. Um, then let's see the black hat school of feng shui, which I don't know what that is. I put this. That's like a black like, hat yeah. hacker. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bad guy teaches that a black mat at the door that is about as wide as the door is a money magnet and will energize your career. So okay. just something to think about too. Yeah. Maybe we change it then. Maybe we get another one. Mm, I don't really give we, a shit about money. I don't, I also am not sure if we should trust the black hat school because yeah. they sound, sound a little sinister. They sound kind of uh, maybe an- I don't anonymous agree style. With them. Um, and also mind your message. So we're doing well here. Forget cutesy sayings and monogram mats. No one's home. No rugrats allowed. And beware the cat are guaranteed to chase away positive chi or at least give it pause. Placing your name or under initials underfoot just means people are stepping on or wiping their dirty shoes on the Smith Jones residence every time they visit. Why would you want that? So you have to find a good message, I guess, that's not funny or has your name in it. And we I have want no something message. just like this. That's good. Monogram right on. Doormat. Yeah. Step here. Step here for positive chi. <laughs> Could be good. That yeah, seems like a no-brainer, actually. Um, or just also, the word bullshit. holiday mat. That's good. You wipe your... Well, you don't really want to step in shit. So maybe foot cleaner. Shit eater. Clean. Step or here to clean. Bullshit. Parentheses. Bullshit detector. Metaf- metaf- metaphorically. Metaphorical bullshit. Bullshit that doesn't get on shoes. Yeah. And it <laughs> yeah. Metaphorically, and it doesn't get on your shoes. 
and it actually invites positive chi. How about yeah. just a picture of the fucking queen? Yes, that's not bad. With her eyes X'd out. <laughs> holiday oh, match should be displayed with extreme care. No kitschy or cluttered designs and removed promptly when the holiday period ends. Faded beachy flip-flops in February or happy holidays with poinsettias in July signals that you are lazy or just don't care about the all-important portal at the gate of your home. That's not a good message for guests or good fortune. Mm -hmm. So switch them out with the holidays. Okay, stop. Get rid of the Christmas one after Christmas. Okay. Stop with the Christopher That's Columbus important. Holiday And also, for, here's to how to get it auspicious. Um, what? Oh, yeah, this is just what I wanted to read. Uh, one lucky trick is to tuck red ribbon-tied feng shui coins. So they have a whole currency under the mat to attract money to your door. Three coins are okay, but nine are better. So here's what I've learned about this this coin thing. Uh huh. So you use it's Chinese coins uh -huh. and you use them um, like real coins, but you put you people put them under the doormat, but they also when they tile their homes, they will put coins under each tile. Oh. Wow. So That's your house smart. is full of fucking money. Well, that makes yeah, sense incredible. that it's a money magnet. Yeah. Or no, wait. Opposites attract. So wouldn't you want to ha have opposite money? Wait, What's the, the ungredient, opposite wait, okay. ungredient version of Here's money? Here's the hard thing. Bullshit. Opposites attract. Bullshit under your tiles. But birds of a feather so flock wait. together. But wait. So how how do we square this? And one this? in the hand is worth and two wait, in the bush. square the circle? My, my, why the fuck does that make sense? <laughs> what is that? Square the circle. I think we're finding out something about So the world Okay, right so now. a doormat is a square and you put circles under it. Also, yeah, what about a there door? You go. What about your square. doorman? Yeah. Is that good feng shui or bad feng shui? Uh, an old what doorman? What if you had Depends an old if he's doorman nice or named mean, coin? That's <laughs> <laughs> an old doorman from New Orleans named Coin. Yeah. 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 That's a good idea. Coin Crabtree. Yeah, that's an amazing That's guy. a really good yeah. idea. And that's got to be the luckiest doorman you could have. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, you can feng shui your bedroom for better sex. Okay, guys. I don't even want to know about all this. Man. Guys, I think we can maybe use this in the office. Okay. Why? Who's having sex in this office? <laughs> if you play your cards right. With yeah. what? Or With who, I mean. With what? With, or, <laughs> I mean, like, you know... <laughs> But what can we do? A piece of rope. So first no. of all, find the love or relationship corner. So this is a okay. map, I, which I guess I didn't know about this before I was did research. But I guess each corner of everything of the house has a different thing. So okay. if you want to have sex, you should always have it in the back right corner of your room because that's the love and marriage square. We that's are, where my wait, radiator is. I can't do We are in there. the wealth and prosperity corner. We are in the wealth and prosperity corner right oh, now. Shit. The rear left. I can't read these right now. What does that say? Casper? Career. <laughs> that's the front door. No, the that's the your piano okay. is in the uh -huh. career. Pat's desk is in um uh knowledge, knowledge and self knowledge and self cultivation. That's uh -huh. pretty that's good. Genius. Okay. And the bathroom is in the love and marriage corner. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we just figured out that's disgusting. where it's gonna go down. Huh. What's um, it? It sexual and then the, the center it just says center. <laughs> well, that's good. If um if on a long enough timeline, anything happens, uh -huh. yeah. How if if somebody will have sex in this bathroom with another person who works in this office? It's <laughs> between the three of us. I think that it would be probably, it would probably be Alex and Patrick. I think. <laughs> Why? I could see that. We already I could see that the most. Yeah, that's why you guys wouldn't do it at your house because like yeah. your girlfriend's there. Oh yeah, here is like a yeah. it's like this is the this is Brokeback Mountain yeah. territory, <laughs> and I think you guys could have like a, down the street. Yeah, down the street where she can walk over whenever she wants. That's what happens in Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, that's true. She walks in. I yeah. haven't, I haven't oh, seen what that. the hell's what going the hell? on wait, this wait. mountain? Well, you're fucking this guy. Also, why are you dressed like a cowboy? <laughs> um. I can't read any of this. I did a or Patrick. I made Gus, it too small. As yeah. they call it in feng shui terminology. I want to go. Here the, here's the nose. The big nose. Okay. The big nose for having a sexual room okay. in feng shui. Do not have violent, aggressive, lonely, or desolate imagery in the bedroom. <laughs> so it says no civil war scene, no painting of a vase of dead flowers, and no painting of a single person or a barren landscape. Wow. So just keep that stuff out. Uh -huh. if you want it to be sexy. 
no evil paintings. You know, I saw another thing that was uh, how to stop your partner from cheating on you using feng shui. Whoa. And Whoa. one of the biggest ones that they reiterated multiple times was don't have two beds in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it funny because like, this one said try to have uh, doubles of everything in your bedroom to Whoa. represent couples. Dude, that. there's a lot of contradiction, and fu- that's why you, we need a feng shui master. The other SM. big, the other big no is filth and clutter. Being dirty with your lover in the bed is fine, but dirt and clutter in your bedroom is a definite love slayer. And in the Game of Thrones way, not the Beyonce way. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. So Game you will way. fucking die. Yeah. Okay. Um, but then I think this next slide is what I really wanted to talk about the most. No, this isn't. This is just an extra thing. Color theory within a chair context. So this is just a diagram I found that I thought was funny that if you're getting a gaming chair, this is the colors you pick, whether you want it to be energetic and optimistic or calming and creative. Mm. Wow. No, this is specifically a website I found for there was a gaming chair website that had a whole page about the feng shui this, this of their is, chairs. You know, this is my gaming chair. This is the chair, the exact chair I use on my desk. Really? Isn't it awful? That's horrid. Yeah, it's really horrid. But it is. The color is formal, <coughs> stable and it's harmonious, beautiful. though. Well, I actually have a brown one. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, that's not even on the chart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but here we go. Whoa. Tips oh, shit. For feng shui. This is actually incredible, and this actually will change our lives forever. Okay, because this, this is made me important. so excited to go back to hit the casino again. Wow. I have learned so much this from This is what me. I needed. I right went now. on like five websites okay. about this, and this is, we're going to have a gambling room in our house. That's obvious. Yeah. Plus, yeah. We can also use this whenever. Oh, we're that's here. what you need to use this extra room for in your. Apartment. Yeah. Yeah. But here we go. According to feng shui, you are also lucky if there's a small hill or a mountain behind your structure. The land formation symbolizes the patronage of the turtle. Uh If you have the presence of a mountain on the left of your structure, it means that a green dragon protects you. The turtle and the green dragon can give you and the inhabitants of your structure great fortune and prosperity. Yeah, I knew that about the turtle. So we need to build our structure... Near a mountain, it. yeah. Well, so, not or because turtles live or, or, in the well, water underneath. Well, wait, we're gonna have oh, a, we're gonna have a gambling room in our mountain. home. Yeah. Where do? Who's or we could just money, build a casino. But in here, what's the money come from? Or have, who does it go just to? Just wherever or, the money comes from in a casino. The bank, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But if uh, so, we I think that this is more useful for us to scope out lucky casinos. Yeah. So that's that was this started out as I was thinking. Okay, we can build a gambling room, but this did turn into how I, a lot of these are how to win money at a casino. Yeah, because so, I think I think the only place that I can think of is is like a casino royale uh-huh. in uh, whatever Monty whatever. Yeah. Or Las Vegas has mountains. Yeah. yeah. Mountains so Vegas, there you go. So, but it has to be th- to the left <clears throat> to get the I green dragon's protection. Is there a mountain or any kind of uh, maybe like a butte or something in Atlantic City? We could make one. There's we no, no. It's could. as flat as an apple. But we could lift it up with geographical, geological activity. We you could. Say it's as flat as an we could do some they kind do of. A, uh, they do that in terraforming. Oceans. One of the oceans. Movies. Oceans. Which one? The third one. The second one? No, the they third one. They build a mountain? They cause an earthquake. To build in Atlantic oh, City. A big drill. Yeah. I don't that know. That basically huh. can make a mountain. That's what I causes guess. mountains is if earthquakes. You did, if you would did a drill underneath up. Well, if you just push it, that's what... It, if you push them together, yeah, it goes over up. millions of fucking years. Yeah, but we just do it fast with hyperpower. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, here are a few suggestions to attract feng shui luck for your gameplay. So here, pay close attention okay. to this. Uh, limit bathroom breaks. Before playing a game in a casino, make sure that you go to the bathroom first and do whatever is necessary to avoid breaks during your game. Yeah. This is to prevent your hands from getting wet because water is a symbol of money, according to Chinese lore. You will lose your winnings if you wash your hands if you need bathroom breaks in between games. Try to stay dry and anticipate nature calls. So what I'm getting here is it's not actually that you need to not go to the bathroom. You just need to not wash your hands if don't you go. Don't yeah. wash your because hands. If you get, and don't get pee on your finger. And this Keep goes double for dry. the fucking dealers. Uh-huh. No lotion. No lotion at all. And dealers, stop washing your hands. Yeah. Yep. Because you got that. You're we wiping need a fully the money dry. off. We need a dehumidifier in, in the casino, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bringing a dehumidifier pack in your backpack into the casino. An amazing idea. Okay. So then here's the other one. Wear a ring. If you're going to play in a casino, make sure that you are wearing your ring on the correct finger. Remember not to wear a ring on your thumb when going to casinos because it symbolizes letting go of success and losing all your wealth. On your thumb? Which is a really dangerous thing to symbolize yeah. in a casino, That's losing awful, all yeah. your wealth. That's yeah. maybe the worst possible They're gonna thing. They're going to instantly clock uh, you. You must wear a jade ring on your left hand <laughs> if you're a woman and your right hand if you're a man. So we got to okay. get some jade rings okay. um, to not wear on our thumb. Yeah. Uh, invite a pregnant friend. <laughs> 
Pregnant women attract good luck for gamblers, according to Chinese beliefs. Even if there's a pregnant stranger standing behind you to watch the game, make sure that she stays and lets you win. Just making her like, <laughs> making her like follow you around. Yeah. Putting a leash on her. Yeah. But so yeah, as many pregnant women as possible are gonna up your luck factor. Next time your 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 friend tells you that she's pregnant, you say, "Oh my god!" Mm. But you know what we're you going need? to Vegas. One you last offer, party. Yeah. You <laughs> one last her. crazy weekend. One in last Vegas. dry, yeah. dry trip to yeah. Las Vegas. Well, no, you can get fucked up. Up. Just don't wash your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting her fucked up on all her like weird pregnancy craving foods, like yes. putting like pickles and peanut butter sandwiches. Damn. All that pregnant food sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. My mom still orders a fucking like a, a chicken parm sub with pickles and mayo on it. Because I got her fucking of, pregnant. Because yeah. the pregnant thing. Yeah, because I got her pregnant. She did that pregnant. at a real Italian place one time son. and she got they looked at her like she was the stupidest person. She's in pregnant the world. with my son and I'm gonna name him Patrick. No. <laughs> yeah. You won't have a son named Patrick. I think that's my last If you slide, had a actually. kid and you named him Patrick, that would not even be an honor. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. There goes my I'm name sorry. idea. I'm sorry. It was I'm either Patrick or Romulus. Name. Nice try. My son's name will be Norm C.K. Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> Murphy. Changing it just to Patrice. You had <laughs> you had Patrick <laughs> top of the list <laughs> and right under it was Patrice. You're just like, uh, oh, yeah, my son was gonna be, I was gonna have Timothy Chalamet Fetter. Yes. Whoa. And my, Saoirse Ronan Fetter. And my daughter, Amy Wong Heidecker. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz. 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 <laughs> uh, my daughter, uh, uh, Fucking, fucking Eddie. super <laughs> deluxe. <laughs> my daughter, um, <laughs> my, uh, Sam, Sam Kinison, deluxe. the insult comic dog. <laughs> my kid. <laughs> super deluxe. <laughs> this is my son, Super Deluxe Doran. Bart Homer Fetter. And this yeah. is my this is my daughter, Jash. Is your son coming to the party? Which one? Funny or die? <laughs> 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 yep, they're both coming. All right, this next one. So uh, you guys know about like a non-standard McDonald's, like the you know this one here that's shaped like a like a church or something, and then this one on the, what? the right that's shaped like a, that's not like a, a church. Bank. That's like a government. The one on the left. The is one on like the left a church. is a church. Yeah, that's not a church. It looks a like ch- a church. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a, it's that's like a, a town hall. No, what are you talking no, about? No, the one it's on not. the it's left like a, is, a, is an animal zoo. <laughs> no, that <laughs> one's a, a church, church, and then the other one looks like a bank. So then I saw, I looked up, the. I was trying to find the feng shui of McDonald's, maybe an article talking about it, but there was a McDonald's in Hacienda Heights, I think, uh, <laughs> it's somewhere in L.A., suburban L.A., that remodeled their whole fucking place under the principles. They got a consultant in. They they made it look Whoa. like this. It looks incredible. Wait, this is a feng shui McDonald's? This, this is looks a, like a this, normal McDonald's. This, this looks, looks like the, the feng shui McDonald's. This looks like the Burger King they stop at on the mega bus. No. Uh, no, look at those no. red table. Well, okay, yeah, I'll, the you're, you're going to see more photos. You're going to see more photos. The colors are a little different, but this is... Exa- I would not... Cameron, there is a waterfall a, in here. Where? You'll see. Just be patient. The ancient Chinese practice of feng shui is designed to provide people with a sense of serenity. A McDonald's in suburban Los Angeles has recently been remodeled to reflect the principles of feng shui. There are waterfalls, wooden ceilings, and a specially designed entryway. Oh. The doors don't align, so we confuse the evil spirits, and they stay out, and we keep the good spirits in, says Mark Brownstein, the <laughs> restaurant's owner and operator. Um, look, If you look up McDonald's fight on YouTube, millions of results. True. None of them... At this, this McDonald's. That is so true. Keep uh, the evil Can I say out. something really quickly that I learned about feng shui, which is when yeah. you move, you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to do something called a door blessing when you move into oh, okay. a new place mm-hmm. where you roll a pineapple all around the apartment. Wow. wow. And uh, if you do it wrong, you will get 100% a demon living in your apartment. Damn. Yeah. And it happened That's in scary. the story that I read, and a little girl said, uh, where's my big sister? And they said, you don't Shit. have a big sister. And she said, yeah, she walks around every single night in a white dress. That's oh, scary as fuck. It is scary. Jesus. Can I say something about this slide too? Yeah. Um, how pissed off would you be if you were a good spirit and you... You they trapped you in a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep the goods, the evil spirits out. They keep the good Fuck, spirits in. Yeah, because if you're evil spirit, spirit. Be like, oh, I guess I'll go in here. This oh, looks, yeah, this room looks looks like it has this nice function. Imagine, imagine if it has like time to leave. Oh my the god, the doors are uneven. <laughs> god fucking damn it! 
Uh, Brownstein, who runs 23 Southern California McDonald's, says the redesign was all about rejuvenating slumping sales. When he looked at the most recent census data, he saw that the Asian population in the area had grown to nearly 40%. Oh. We wanted to make this store inviting to everyone, but particularly the large and growing Asian population in this area. He says, sitting in earth in an earth tone booth next to a waterfall. <laughs> 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 this is just a white dude that's uh, like, hey, there's a lot of fucking Asian people in this town. Yeah. We're going to feng shui we my McDonald's. We should make McDonald's a feng shui environment. He started from the waterfall, and then yeah. he found out there's something called feng shui. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but look at this. Look at that beautiful. Ma- look at how beautiful it is this gorgeous. looks. That, that picture looks, is nice. It looks that, amazing. It looks incredible. I actually think that casinos probably, what, looking at this, it does casinos look like, probably it looks like do Atlantic have City. They feng use, shui yeah. experts. They, they literally do. Really? Yeah. They actually do, yeah. That makes because, perfect Well, sense. it's because it literally they do it because they're a bunch of of like high rollers from China that they want oh, to come and they yeah. want them to be like, oh, it's look, it's nice. I read a whole interview with it was really funny. It was like an interview with like this like high roller Chinese gambler guy who was like they're interviewing being like, so what do you think about these casinos like using feng shui to attract more like high profile Asian gamblers? And he's like, you know, I don't care at all, but it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> he's right. He's completely that, that, right. Yeah. That's probably why casinos feel so amazing to yeah, be yeah. in. Yeah. Because oh, they figured yeah. it out. They're literally the peak of feng shui. I thought yeah. it's because they were pumping some like. Well, they actually. Gas I would say there. they use black hat feng shui because if yeah, you read, I, I did read a lot about this. People who who feng shui experts don't like casinos because they have no windows. It's like yeah. fake sunlight, which is evil, and it's like the feng shui is in service of trapping you. Mm, but yeah. they do you I think they use evil feng shui to trap you in there. We're a trapped good spirit whenever yeah. I go to Damn. the encore. Because oh I'm God. leaving with an uneven wallet. Yeah. Because I left my credit cards in the hotel room. But I kept all of my grocery store mm-hmm. rewards cards that's yeah. oh, yeah. the other half of my wallet. For all the suggestions the Lou's made, there was one thing they couldn't change, the menu. Just like all McDonald's, this one serves up artery artery clogging fries, Big Macs and milkshakes. Which raises the inevitable question: How does one how do, how often does the Grandmaster chow down at the Golden Arches? Depends, he said. When I'm very busy and very hungry, sometimes I need to eat. So there are these two. They consult these like they are Grandmasters of Feng Shui yeah. in in Los wow, Angeles. FSMs. Yeah, uh, Jenny Liu and her and her dad. I don't remember the dad's name. Uh, Jenny Liu suggests that the Feng Shui somehow reduces the negative aspects of greasy processed food. Feng Shui is about the laws of nature, so in that way, it's a counter, she said, adding, when you're in an environment that's wonderful and peaceful and soothing, your whole mindset relaxes, you eat food slowly and don't rush and stuff your face. The mental is very important, her father agrees. That part is stronger than the poison food. Wow. He's calling the fucking food poison. Mind over matter. Oh, then this one, a woman named Tina Turner was in there eating a double <laughs> cheeseburger and fries during her lunch hour. But then this is what, uh, this is like the end of the article. Uh, Mark Brownstein says that he sees nothing peculiar about blending fast food and feng shui. It's not ironic at all, he said. One more Did thing. Did he say that like this? It's not ironic at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. One more thing. Don't call it fast food. The food isn't fast. The food appear, appears quickly, but that's service, he said, adding... We're willing to do this to, to uh, we're willing to do this to say to the community we're going to build a store that really stands out. That's just good business sense. And then here's just like that's the waterfall. Dude, this is beautiful. It's incredible, right? I want to eat. Yeah, and look at this picture that I found wow. in the article. It's so small. <laughs> that's how big it was. Look at how that's big actual it. size. Yeah, look look at that. Oh, oh wow. it's got bamboo. So this is this is what it looks like when you walk in. So describe it. It's got uh, bamboo. It's got bamboo on the left, and then like another plant there. It's like circular. There's they have a lot a of tiles uh, with a path. Yeah, tiles with a path. Like a lot of beautiful and looking you know stuff. Money under all those, uh-huh. all those tiles. We oh, do absolutely. We break yeah, in, we Damn. steal all the tile money. And then this next slide here is a review from Angelica Cerna, um, <laughs> that says Aaliyah is black. <laughs> Four stars. <laughs> Four stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. And you have to guess that it maybe Aaliyah is somebody who somebody works who there. Somebody who maybe works there or and maybe the singer. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, whatever um, it but is. But the original, I guess, yeah, it's translated by Google. It says Aaliyah is black. And then the original says Elijah Serna. Oh, yeah. it was her name? <laughs> she was oh. trying to put her name in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, then look at these photos here. Look, there's, there's uh, Juby, if you can zoom in here, there's a man who's astounded by the beauty of this McDonald's. He's covering his eyes up. 
With a receipt. Wow. With a receipt. And then this next photo here, just pure album cover vibes. Look at this that. This is album cover That is vibes. one of the most beautiful McDonald's photos I've ever seen. One. And then this one is um, the board for employee shout outs, and it is completely empty. Whoa. <laughs> Just well, that's, that's not feng shui to put people's faces up, yeah, staring I agree. out. I yeah, agree. exactly. It's like well, trapping them. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's, it's like, like trapping them. All right, here's some more photos. Here's a guy in a booth, and then here's another photo Cowboy of the booth. booth. Um, but I have some bad news. What's that? What is it? What is it? I think they remodeled the McDonald's. I think they remodeled it. Based on mean? photos I found this looks on this Google. Like the same? Well, this is an old one. Oh. Uh, most of the feng shui <laughs> stuff is, I think, gone. Oh That's what it looked like God. in 2022. I think oh, those no. two glass things right there. It looks like right just there, a brand new normal yeah, McDonald's. I think that those two glass things right there are where the waterfalls used to be. Yeah, I think you're right. Because um, usually I was when you showed the waterfall, I was thinking that's usually where the glass thing exactly, is. Exactly, yeah. Uh, then this next one here, they put the kiosks uh, in. Kiosks, oh bad feng shui. Sliding automatic doors. Yeah, it's terrible, over. terrible feng shui. It's, oh, and uh, I'm and sure. then I was looking up trying to confirm whether or not there was a remodel. Thomas M says, obviously a recent remodel. And then there was something disgusting in the bathroom. Poo? Uh, I think it was do. Oh. But again, bathroom, water, feng shui. You know, it's all connected. It's all connected. Wait, go back. This guy ends it in a perfect way. Had to ask for a drink cup. Next. <laughs> that is so funny to say about a, a, at the end of your next. McDonald's. Yeah. Next. On McDonald's. Next one. <laughs> um, oh, I made it too small. My local McDonald's. It's nice since the remodel. That was in 2050 or five years ago. 2050. Not 2015. Um, some homeless that hang out there, blah, blah, blah. And then Dan Man said, McDonald's socks. No more food from there. <laughs> uh but yeah, so all of Wait. that stuff about the the feng shui, they uh -huh. they got rid of it, complete and total remodel, no. right? Getting rid of every single, well, not every single, but you yeah, know, but changing a lot of the changing stuff. a lot of the feng shui in there, right? So that was five years ago. Five years ago was twenty nineteen, right? Close. Twenty eighteen, really, really, really close. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. I thought I'm my I'm still right in twenty twenty two on all my checks. Well, that would, that, make, would, be, that would make it even more wrong. That'd make it way <laughs> wronger. Um, so, okay, okay. So that actually <laughs> makes sense. So it was five years ago. It was twenty. <laughs> that does actually make sense. Yeah. Because in 2019, employees were hospitalized with mysterious symptoms at the Hacienda Heights McDonald's. Holy at shit! At the Feng Shui McDonald's. After it was remodeled. Firefighters have found after the remodel. Firefighters have found no abnormal readings after a carbon monoxide detector oh, was wait, triggered no. at a McDonald's on Monday. Hazmat oh techs God. with the LA County De Fire Department determined air saturation is normal inside the McDonald's at the uh, one. The, what I'm not reading that. Uh, the alarm may be malfunctioning. Despite that, three employees experienced symptoms. Three empo employees reportedly experienced minor headaches and will be hospitalized. Wait. So they there was a, there was a carbon monoxide, a, a feng shui attack. Yeah. yeah. Full feng shui. Wow. Full feng shui. They, they get rid of every single thing. And then the carbon monoxide detector goes fucking crazy. Three employees are hospitalized. But, but no carbon monoxide. Wow. That's mm -hmm. insane. And this was in December of 2019. So this could be something else <laughs> that happened <laughs> around that time. No, I don't think so. Because no. But there was a, because no, because there was a feng shui It would say change. mysterious disease. There was a feng shui, shui change and it was yeah. a carbon, a clear carbon monoxide attack. Well, no. That is was, crazy. No, it means feng shui a, attack. A, 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 a pure energy a, disruption. Yeah, energy. A yeah. Well, what is their, it is energy, but not carbon monoxide. A spirit monoxide. got their Casper tail stuck into the carbon uh -huh. monoxide. Got sucked in. Oh, yeah. no, please, 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 please. Beep, 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 engine, beep, beep, yeah. beep. Yeah. Came back. He dissipated, turned into mist, and then people started breathing it in and went, oh, I have ghost headache. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. maybe the only way that they could cure that would be with my invention I mentioned earlier, the flower that puts food in the air. Exactly. That's a shit invention. Exactly. A invention. Well, He's, I guess the moral the moral here is that once your feng shui is perfect, do not fuck with it. Don't fuck with it. Do don't not mess change with it. it. Do not mess don't with make feng a, shui. Don't make it a is, room where the lights are off all day. the most powerful thing in the world. The universe. Yeah. The universe. The, the whole observable entire. and unobservable. Uh -huh. It's more powerful. I, I didn't, I'm not going to... I don't want to talk about this. Um, I don't want to get into details. Okay. Then let's not I, talk about it. Okay. No, I, I want to very quickly say there is... Don't look this up. There is feng shui rituals and practices that you can do uh -huh. to assassinate somebody. I think what? that's a Chuck Palahniuk story. It's true. 
It's a hundred percent true. Yeah, oh I thought God. that's in one of his. I remember <laughs> reading that in it's high in, school or it's something. It's in Haunted. He it talks was, about it. I thought that shit was so cool. It's true. It's true. I, I found yeah. it from that you book. You are scaring yeah. me right now. And looked it up. And it was it's a hundred percent true. You are so scaring cool. the fuck out of me right now. It's true. It's in the book or it's in the short story about my, uh, foot massage. Yeah. 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 Wow. But it is true. But crazy. We won't get into that. We, we won't get into what we will get into is the some fucking trouble. Promo poop dot com, com slash shows. shows. Pull it up. We talked about it. The video flopped. The video, the video was the a video didn't flop so bad. Flop. The video we don't have to worry the about the flopping I fucking video. flop all the fucking you can, time. You can make another video, man. And you, but you can't live another life. So I you can't need to live chill. another life. Go buy tickets. It's going to be sketch comedy. It's going to be a fun mm-hmm. show. We're doing it at Littlefield with Home Planet, who make the videos that you love. Alex and Joe. We're doing it with Pierce as well, who mm-hmm. you also like. And you can buy a ticket uh, right here at swagpoop.com slash shows. It's July 14th. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be yep. writing a lot of fun crap. We have, I've already and there's going to be some videos. I've already written so much, and I'm gonna we're gonna maybe a lot of it won't make it in. We're gonna <laughs> go ahead and buy ten tickets right uh-huh. now that you can't have. So we, that's called scarcity. Maybe we do a ten ticket giveaway to one lucky person. Why would one person need ten? <laughs> maybe the one ten lucky person, people. One person brings ten of their friends. That well, then they wouldn't have a ticket. Exactly. All right. Well, that buy makes tickets them to have that. to buy another ticket. Bye. Bye bye. Happy. Happy. No, it's a <laughs> library. You do. I was gonna say laundromat. It's okay. a library that's next to a laundromat. Whoa, uh-huh. that's already good. And I, I already like this situation. The, the lady who works at the laundromat closes up the closes up shop, puts a shirt on a hanger, and then walks out, walks into the library. So then she walks up to the... It's clear that she has a rapport with the librarian. She's talking. Uh-huh. She walks in. I love that. Is librarian girl or boy? Hey, Janice. Oh, hey, Bernice. <laughs> hey, okay. what have you... You clean a lot of clothes today? <laughs> no. I like Just that. one shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> and I hung it up before I left. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Are you here to get a book? No, I'm here to return my book. <laughs> okay, what book is she returning? Um, Memoirs of a Geisha. Oh, wow. Okay. No. No? No, because I said laundromat, because then that could be racist coded. No, Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. Okay. Now She's do one returning more, Fifty now Shades do of Grey, and then, and then Bernice picks it up and goes, ooh, and she goes, yep. And then suddenly, a man in a trench coat and a hat runs in and slits her throat, and she <laughs> falls on the floor and screams and grabs her throat. Uh-huh. Which and one, it Bernays or Janice? Both. Her name is not Bernays. Bernays. It's not like okay, a, Bernays. It's not like a uh, No, meal. yeah, it's the laundromat lady uh, gets killed uh-huh. and then cut. Okay. And then theme song. And then, and then the rest of the episode. In. Yeah. What in the what, what? in the what is <laughs> has gone on hell? in this library? <laughs> I've How heard the of hell this happen. I've heard of a uh, bookish demeanor, but I've never <laughs> seen a something. A bookish Madura. Madura. <laughs> but when it comes to this criminal, there's no one demeanor. This is demeanor's criminal. 